Oh, now I'm being told he stuck his finger in water, in water and in the testing, which I find very no, suspicious. I grab a strap. Yeah, no. Nobody does that. And I was trying to think. Court is calling 2023 CR0889, State of Texas versus Stephen Wayne Wahlbarker. Could I have parties announced for the record for the state? Yes. Defense. Ron Ross for defense. Are you Stephen Wahlbarker? Yes, you enter a plea on June 15th, guilty to count two. According to the plea bargain agreement, punishments be assessed at eight years in the prison. The state is silent on your application. Have both parties had a chance to review the PSI report state? Yes, Your Honor. Defense? Yes, we have, Judge. And by the way, it's a capital H. Ah. Yes, and state is silent, Judge. All right, if y'all want to... Oh, yeah, it is a capital H. Okay. <laughs> and the state is silent. Have both parties had a chance to review the PSI report state? Yes, Your Honor. Defense? We have, judges. just one correction. Or, yes. Um, in the uh, TAP evaluation, down about toward the end of it, said that he's continued to use marijuana since he was arrested, and he says that's not true. Not he true. said since he's arrested, he was using it before, but since that he hasn't used it. That's what he tells me. Well, we can't get a UA because well, I know. I mean, he stuck concerned. his hand in the cup. Nobody does that. I don't know anybody who would purposely or, or accidentally Stick their hand in a cup of urine. I just, but there was no urine, ma'am. I just grabbed the cup. I didn't even. Do yeah, that. nobody does that. You wasted a UA in this court. I didn't. So, counsel, anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Judge, I would say that he's 55. I think his report, he's got child support obligations. He looks, I don't know that he's a, he's not diagnosed as mental slowness, but he seems to be. And he's, Jobs, he's not had a real good job. Now he works at a cook, but he is employed. He's been employed, and uh, I don't know that at this point in time, sentencing the prison is going to really make will really make much difference or uh, correct his behaviors. I would ask you to make him do outpatient treatment. Let's see if he give him a chance. I mean, he's. I agree with you. I think I it's kind of ridiculous what he says, but. Oh, I, I would tell you, counsel, outpatient treatment is going to be out of the question. He's going into custody today. So either he's going to prison or either he's going to treatment. Those are his choices. Either he's going to safety. I know they're recommending SADF, but for someone to purposely invalidate a test, that tells me a little bit where he is with regards to his sobriety. So either he's going, you have a choice. You can go to safety or you can go to prison. If you wish to go to prison, I will sentence you to four years. Which do you choose, prison or treatment? I'll take treatment. All right, the court will sentence you to eight years in the prison. Thank you. Suspended and probated for eight years. Take in consideration 2023 CR 0888. Got to send it you to Safe P, uh, followed by Aftercare. There's to be proof of employment within 45 days of release. There's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. There's to be the UA hotline upon release. There's to be no unsupervised contact with minors. Regular reporting by Zoom or in person. Field visits one time per month for four months. And if everything is going well with the field visits, Probation, I'm going to want random field visits after that, and you'll be able to pick 
how often you wish to do that. There's to be 200 hours of community service restitution. Probation, is there anything else he needs? Is there anything else you need from the court to be successful? Anything else? Anything else you need from the court to be successful? All right, I'm gonna show you what's entitled trial court certification of defendant's rights to appeal. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Uh, yeah, uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, yes. All right. You do have a right to appeal since there were issues raised through pretrial motions. But however, this is a felony conviction. You're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition, any body armor or anything of that nature. Do you understand? If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is or body armor, you can, you'll need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? We can go off the record. Mr. Wahlberger, here's the thing. When I ask for people to do UAs, sometimes I know that people are gonna come in and they're gonna be positive. I can see the signs when people are gonna be positive. The reason why I'm asking is because I'm trying to determine one, your level of truthfulness and two, where you are in your sobriety. And when you are dishonest with me about your sobriety, you know what that tells me? That tells me you need to be in somebody's inpatient treatment. So you're going to inpatient treatment because of you. All you had to do was take the UA instead of sabotaging the UA test. You understand? Yes, ma'am. 21 right, CR 5216, State of Texas versus Delfina Spiller. Can our parties announce for the record for the state? Hank Wilkins for the state, Your Honor. Defense? Valerie Hedlund. And are you Ms. Spiller? Yes, I am. Showing you what's entitled motion to enter adjudication of guilt and revoke community supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, I did. Are you the same Delphina Spiller who was placed on deferred adjudication in 2021 CR 5216 for the offense of possession of a controlled substance penalty group one, four grams to 200 grams on September 10th, 2021 for a period of five years. Is that you? Yes, that's me. State? Violated condition number five in Bear County, Texas, the defendant Delphina Spiller did then and there fail to report to the supervision officer as directed for the months of July and August, 2022 in violation of condition number five. How do you plead to that, true or not true? True. State? Your Honor, we waive and abandon the uh, other violations alleged. Any objections? No. Did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number five, the court could find it true, grant the motion, find you guilty, and sentence you up to 20 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine? Yes, I do. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number five? Yes, I do. Court will find violation of condition number five true. Is there a proposed agreement? Judge, there's not a proposed agreement. Um, we were going to recommend five years. I believe the, the defense would like to ask for uh, a, an alternative to that judge. All right. Defense, what are you requesting? Judge, without going into so many details and background on this, um, and certainly not to offer excuses, Your Honor, she, I did meet with uh, Ms. Spiller for a long time last week. Um, she has had some serious health issues starting about the time that she did last reported to probation. Um, and it had her in and out of the hospital from June, July, around June, July of 2022, September, they finally diagnosed her. And then she went septic and went into the hospital for three weeks in November. Um, I don't think she was in the a right frame of mind at all. Um, I did ask her, why didn't you just pick up the phone and call probation, call the court? Um, she was eventually picked up because, well, she was in Spring Branch. And then after she resolved some of the medical issues. Um, was she supposed to be in Spring Branch? No, Your Honor. Her mother-in-law uh, lives in Spring Branch with her children. And um, her mother-in-law was administering the IV antibiotics and everything that she was going through. Um, and her mother actually has custody. Is it one daughter this or is two? One, just one, one daughter. daughter. Um, because of a very serious incident that happened with her eldest daughter in 2017. Um, ever since that date, I think Miss Fuller's life has spiraled out of control. And has she picked up any new offenses That's since she the was? Problem. She has two new, excuse me, number ones out of Comal uh, that are for misdemeanor charges that 
are from September of 2022, all along the same kind of time frame. Um, and what are those charges? I think fraud, use, possession, less failure to identify. identify, failure to ID. There's an offense report in the summary. All right. And so she has fraud use. And I will tell you that in this plea bargain agreement with the case, they took into consideration fraud use cases. Yes. And so I have before me a person who's not reporting and is alleged to have picked up new fraud use cases and didn't pick up the phone and call probation. Yes, Your Honor. Um, there, you know, they, they, she knows not to just stand before you and make excuses or say it's a mistake. She knows that. But uh, in the Comal report, at least, she was with a person that got charged heavily with um, other items and issues, and she was coming out of the tractor supply. Um, so there's a paragraph in there that addresses her. The majority of the report is for the person that she was with. All right, the person she was with. Does he have criminal charges? I would imagine so, based on that. And she's not supposed to be around people who have criminal charges. Yeah. I would ask, Judge, this is her first MTR. Um, and the charge is a second degree felony, her underlying, from four to 200. It was five point something grams of meth at the time. Um, so if that's any consolation, uh, the other... I would beg that she be allowed to continue probation. At worst, uh, revoke sentence her for the conviction. So she's, I think she's under deferred. Um, and then uh, place her back onto probation so that she can seek additional um, help and support. She is with her sister now um, back in San Antonio. I think her sister is a good influence and is helping her. She also suffers from diabetes, Your Honor. She can't, she's having vision loss, so she can't read the paperwork that I give her. Um, she had a doctor's appointment scheduled for July 27th that she missed because she was taken into custody on this case. That's why I asked the court to bring her a little bit quicker. So um, I would just ask that she not be sentenced to TDC. I realize there's not really an alternative placement for her, like treatment, because she has charges pending in Comal that I can't really do anything. I don't have any influence in those cases. So we're just asking the court to, if at worst, sentence her, revoke her, but put her back on probation since she's never been to TDC. All right, Ms. Spiller, there are consequences for actions. Uh, I am going to grant the motion, find you guilty, revoke, sentence you to five years in the prison, give you credit for any time served. There's a $500 fine, time and money rent concurrent. If you would like, I can ask that you be placed in the therapeutic community. I have no jurisdiction for you to be placed in the therapeutic community. You'll have to ask for it as well. But the therapeutic community is helpful in any type of drug issues that anyone may have. Would you like me to request the therapeutic community? Yes, ma'am. All right, I'll request the therapeutic community. Uh, did you review the document entitled Trial Court Certification of Defendant's Rights to Appeal with your attorney? Did you understand it and did you sign it? Okay. All right. You have a limited right to appeal. That right to appeal is as it relates to the allegations in the motion, not the fact that you were on deferred adjudication. Do you understand? Because this is a, I'm sorry, you need to speak up. Yes, ma'am. All right. Because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right, good luck to you. You're gonna to have to do better, okay? All right, thank you.